Hello, welcome back. This is uh, the second video and we are going to talk about operators. Very briefly, um, we are going to talk about the basic ones, addition, uh, subtraction, multiplication and division. There is nothing complicated about them except uh, one subtlety, which is what is the difference between 10 plus 2, which is going to store um, what you've just written in text, so it's not going to perform the calculation and putting an equal sign which will actually ask Excel to perform the addition here. So this will return 12. Obviously the same applies um, for subtractions etc. Um, 1 minus 2 is going to return minus 1. 4 times 2 is not going to do anything. But if you do write the equal sign it's going to return 8. So that's it for the basic operators. Now let's move on to the more advanced operators, so percent and uh, to the power of. Percent is very self-explanatory. If you write 8%, um, it's going to sort of store it as text, but you can see here it's um, the, the type of the cell is, is gone to percentage. Uh, usually we have general. So what does that mean is we can actually perform operation on this. So 8%, if you do 8% um, times 4 is going to do 32%. It's going to it's going to keep that a cell type. So percent allows us to convert the cell type in percentage, and this is actually uh, just 0 0.32. If you just convert it to number, you get the actual number that is behind the percentage, and you can obviously convert it back to a percentage by selecting the appropriate cell type. Let's now talk about the caret uh, symbol, so or to the power of a symbol. Um, again, very self-explanatory. It just uh, puts a number to the power of uh, the other one. So 2 to the power of 3 is going to be 2 times 2 times 2, which is going to be 8. Um, there are digits because I had previously converted this uh, cell to a number. Uh, you all have the sort of normal uh, display if you convert it back to general. All cells are by default general. To make this symbol appear, you can either press the keyboard key twice. So if you press it once, nothing's going to happen. If you press it twice, two carrots are going to appear uh, and you can just delete one. Or you can just press the key. Uh, once and then press uh, space and it will just appear. Thirdly, we have these symbols. Um, I haven't put them all, but basically, this is um, strictly greater than, this is greater than or equal to, this is equal to, and this is different to. So, what does that all mean? Basically, um, the same applies, you need to put an equal sign. If I want to check whether 8 is uh, bigger than 4, I can do this. Nothing going to happen. If I put the equal sign, Excel is going to be uh, telling me that this is true. Um, great or equal, obviously going to say that is true as well. If I put 4 greater or equal than 4, it's going to say true. But if I say strictly greater than, it's going to say false. Um, the equal symbol does the same, checks equality, and this sort of weird two symbols just mean um, different. So this is going to return false because these are the same numbers. But if I do 5 different than 14, it's going to say yes. Obviously, I haven't displayed them all, but this would work as well. Finally, the ampersand uh, symbol is uh, so this symbol and it's going to concatenate two strings. So if I put my first name here, my last name here, and I will concatenate those two cells, I would obviously again use the equal sign, otherwise, uh, nothing's would, uh, nothing would happen. Select uh, the, the cell where my first name is using the ampersand sign and select the cell where my last name is and then I press enter and it's going to concatenate those two strings. Obviously I've just asked to concatenate those two cells so Excel didn't put any blanks you can 
add blanks by just saying I want to concatenate the first cell, then I want to add a blank, and then I want to use the second cell. Sorry. So that would look like this. And the result would be like this. You can just use that to make the cell look bigger. Uh, and so basically, if I'm just using someone else's name, this is going to change also the cell which is dependent on the, the other cells.